we're going to see a lot more changes on the desktop, even though it was pretty much peachy from before. All right, so we're at 96 now. I believe we're at 98 before. We're at 95 before 1.4 second, uh, 1.3 second, 0.9 second, 0.8 second, um, 0.8 second, 1 second. So we've improved a smidge. So meanwhile, for page speed insights, we're at 367 millisecond load time with 24 requests coming from 1.33 seconds and 24 requests. A megabyte in page speed, a megabyte in page speed, 90%. 90 grade with a B. Hey guys, we have been optimizing this website for speed in the past two tutorials. The first tutorial, we added the W3 um, Total Cache plugin. And in the second tutorial, we added the WP Smush plugin for image optimization. Now we're going to add some final plugins for our website speed. What plugins that I normally add to my website and my clients' websites. We started off just using Pingdom with 3.2 megabit page size, 70 grade, 1.43 load second. 1.43 seconds load time with 60 requests. Now we are at 24 requests, 1.3 seconds load time, grade 90 with a B and one megabyte in page speed. We also had page speed inside. So we need some image optimization and page speeds, no actual development optimization, like actual development for the mobile. But our next desktop is good, 1.4 seconds, 0.8 seconds compared to 2.2 seconds, 0.8 seconds. All right, good, good, good. I don't want to spend too much time on what you're not here for. So final page optimization, page speed optimization um, tutorial. Let's just go ahead and um, add some more plugins we're going to need for that one. The first one I'm going to need is Heartbeat Control. So we're going to install Heartbeat Control. This has been like a revolutionary plugin for me. We could go with A3 Lazy Load. I mean, we already have something doing A3, um, doing Lazy Load for us. We could go with it, but I'm not going to add it because it's kind of redundant. I'm going to add async JavaScript because that's something that I've found really helpful. Let's go ahead and install. We're going to add Asset Cleanup to get rid of useful files and so on from our website and WP Optimize. And I think that's what it's gonna be for now. So the first one I'm gonna go with is Artbeat Control. That one's very easy to set up. Gonna activate. After activating, we are gonna go to Settings, Heartbeat Control. We are going to allow Heartbeat, allow Heartbeat, and we are going to allow Heartbeat. That's all we're gonna do. Save changes. This is the plugin brought from WP Rocket, guys. So it's really, really good. There it is, you can get LP Rocket, we don't have it. The next plugin that we are gonna look at is, I think it's A3 Laser Load, we don't need it. Now let's do async JavaScript first, because I didn't add A3 Laser Load, we already have something handling our Laser Load for us. So let's go to async JavaScript, and we're gonna to go to settings, async JavaScript. We're gonna enable, we are going to apply the fur, and you can test after you've activated to see how it works. We are going to exclude jQuery, and we're not going to change anything else. Let's go ahead and save settings. And the, normally what you want to do, guys, is you want to test after every plugin that you've added. So if there are any errors, you know exactly where it's coming from. Don't do what I do where I activate everything. Activate one at a time. But I know that RB control is very safe and minimal issues I've had with async JavaScript. Now we're just going to do a bit of cleaning, um, house cleaning as you would put it. We're going to go asset cleanup, and after asset cleanup, we can use WP Optimize. And these are just going to clean up. Um, I actually normally use WP Sweep, guys, but what these do is that whenever you have different versions of your pages, so like you make a change today, a change tomorrow, five changes last week, all those are saved, and it eventually clogs your database and so on. So this is just going to um, clean that up for you. So it's going to activate asset cleanup. Page speed booster. As a cleanup should be right over here. Getting started. I'm gonna go ahead and say I understand. I have no idea by the way, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding, I do have an idea of how it works. So we're gonna optimize our CSS. And you know, this actually does a lot of what we were doing in W3 Super, W3 Total Cache. So I don't think I'm actually gonna use this plugin. So I'm not gonna use this plugin because what you look at, when you go to um, 
PaySpeed Insights, it gives us a bit of information on what we need to work on, but I don't want to be so specific for a beginner tutorial. That's the thing. So I'm going to leave Asset Cleaner, Cleanup out. You can use it. I'll do a tutorial on that in the future, but I'm not going to do it for this tutorial because it's going to get a little bit too complicated for you guys. Just deactivate that one, but we are going to either use WP Sweep or we're going to use um, WP Optimize, I believe it's called. WP Optimize, let's activate that to just get rid of our old pages and posts and so on that's taking up space. It's right here. So we're going to optimize everything. Okay, so we're going to act activate everything and we're going to run all selected optimizations. So I'm going to refresh because I don't think this worked properly. Let's go ahead and refresh. I'm going to run the optimizations one by one this time. We're not going to run these right? Because these ones are going to be heavy on the database. So I'm just going to activate and we're going to run selected. Good. Now we're going to clean our cache. We're going to duplicate and duplicate. All right. Cache has been cleaned. Let me clean it once more to ensure it was done properly. Purge our caches to our dashboard. We're going to do the eye test now just to see if the website actually looks like it's loading fast because that's what our users are going to see. They're not going to actually see 1.5 second load time. It's just going to actually feel like it's loading fast. I think that was good just now. It seemed really good. Let's just go one more time. All right, that's much better. So now we're going to run our page speed test again because our cache has been cleaned. And let's just see what our final optimizations are. So all these tabs, guys, are what we've been working on for the past two tutorials. They are going to be linked in the description. And if this is the, well, this is the final video of this specific part. And you see, it's set me back to Asia, Japan. I don't want to be in Asia, Japan. I'm in Jamaica. So let's just set it back to Washington and start a test. <sighs> or I'll try again in a bit. Let's give it a few minutes. Washington, DC. Let's see if page speed insights is ready. It is not yet ready, and now it's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and start this test now. We should be good. And uh, yes, so six seconds, 3.2 seconds speed index on mobile, which is pretty good compared to what we had. So what we had was 3.4 seconds, it was bad. 6.6 .6 seconds now, six seconds, 2.9 seconds three seconds. We haven't lost much, but we do have some structural change that we're going to need to do on the actual mobile version. The better changes we'll see, 71, 65, 61. So from 61 to 65, we're going to see a lot more changes on the desktop, even though it was pretty much peachy from before. All right, so we're at 96 now. I believe we're at 98 before. We're at 95 before 1.4 second, uh, 1.3 second, 0.9 second, 0.8 second. Um, 0.8 second, one second. So we've improved a smidge. So what we need to do for our mobile version is actual development optimization, right? So we're not going to get too much done right now. Meanwhile, for page speed insights, we're at 367 millisecond load time with 24 requests coming from 1.33 seconds and 24 requests. A megabyte in page speed, a megabyte in page speed, 90%. 90 grade with a B. We have... Uh, 63% image size at 646 kilobyte. And right now we have 63, 646. Our scripts, 156, 100, 156, 100. So we haven't lost much in terms of scripts. That would be the final optimization that we need to do, guys, just to optimize all our scripts and minify. And that's something that you're going to want to do when you're advanced, which is why I didn't bother using asset cleanup. Now we've Come pretty far. I mean, if your website loads in 367 milliseconds, you're, you're kind of okay. You're pretty okay. And we've tested this more than once before because we've got something similar at this point as well. So we're doing pretty well. And that's that for your tutorial. So go ahead and hit subscribe, guys. Help us on our journey to hitting well, 20,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Help us to reach more viewers like yourself. And if you want free website files to set up a business online, you know, websites that get you leads, clients, revenue, sales, profits, hit subscribe, check out our previous tutorials. When we build the tutorials, when we build the websites in the tutorials, we give them for free. So this is a nice place to come to learn, to set up an online business and, you know, check out our podcast, all the good stuff. Thank you guys for watching.
Appreciate it. Take care. See you next time.